Yo, what's up? It's your boy, not Slick. Prank Invasion obviously didn't do anything wrong. Now, for those of you who aren't in the know, Prank Invasion did a video in which he gave his sister the little tongue shuffle, and it didn't hold back either. He went straight up in there, and it was such a shock for many people. Even Ethan Klein from H3H3 had something to say about it, which is ironic considering he fucked and married his own sister. Now I'm personally tired of all the drama surrounding Prank Invasion because when you think about it, what he did was just a joke. It was just a prank that he kissed his sister. Let's be real here. And to be completely honest, it wasn't as disturbing as the one of the other videos he made. I grope and fondle my mother. Now you might look at Prank Invasion and think, damn, he just has a really weird sense of what's entertaining and what passes for good content on YouTube. But then you look ahead at someone like Ethan Klein and look at one of his recent Twitter posts where he makes a post about walking inside a suicide prevention center and telling them that their lives don't matter. And then you just start to wonder, who has the worst sense of humor? You can hate on Prank Invasion all you want, but at least he didn't marry his sister, unlike Ethan Klein. But listen very close, Prank Invasion. Now I'm not gonna sugarcoat it here, Prank Invasion, I did think that one video where you kissed the mothers and the fans on the lips themselves was definitely really creepy, especially when there was little girls involved so that you just don't happen to smooch themselves for some easy views. But if you want to make some real content, let someone else kiss your sister, like me. Or better yet, let me plow your sister. That would be the funniest prank ever. Oh man, that would really get them, don't you think? You in the corner just cheering us on? Yeah, that would be such a good prank, man. It would be so funny while I'm raw dogging your whore of a sister. Damn right. That would be the ultimate prank. And then you could just come out of the closet and say, Got him! <laughs> you have no other choice but to let this happen, prank invasion. Just think about it. After all the negative press you've been getting, all the dislikes, this is the only way we can bring your channel back, and I'm willing to help, but you gotta let me. Also, can you release any other fucking type of video? Cause holy shit, dude, if I wanted to watch two girls kissing, I would just watch porn. I don't need to watch your little bitch boy ass trying to smooch up on some random girls that are totally not paid actors. You straight know that you're looking at a pussy when you go to their Instagram page and it says, I'm the best kisser in the world. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That is the cringiest shit ever. You're not even following anyone. Like, come on, dude. This is why you only get two responses on every single tweet you make. Because no one wants to be following a cuck. You even made a tweet saying, Thanks, invaders. My brand deal confirmed a nice bonus to these awesome Twitter stats. Yeah, dude, I don't think they're getting nine retweets. Wow. On a post that you made a few days ago means anything about your current status on Twitter. You even made a tweet that says, I wonder where my future wife is right now. Do you wonder where she's going to be after you marry her? She's going to be in my bedroom getting raw dogged every single night you leave the house because she doesn't want to stay with an absolute fucking Cuck. But don't you worry, because I'm going to do all sorts of kissing pranks on her. And you can like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you hit that notification bell, because I want you to be informed every single time I'm deep inside your wife. I also like how on your Twitter you say that you're a quote-unquote professional fighter with an 8-0 record. I don't know if you've been fighting first graders or something, but I know if your bitch ass was in the ring with me, I would Batista bomb you through the ground, boy. You need to sit down and learn your place. Like, are you serious? You're actually going to challenge Ethan out of all the people? Dude, I know for a fact that that 8-0 record is probably just fighting the weakest people around, because there's no way that chubby chasing guy could ever take anyone on. He's such a weak man, he let Post Malone bang his wife all so he could say that Post Malone's a friend for easy clout. Think about that for a moment. But someday, when I'm doing a kissing prank on your wife, and you try to stop me, I'm gonna grab you by your noodle ass neck until you sit in the corner like the little bitch you are. And I have one other question actually. Why the fuck did you make a video about kissing high school students? Let me check how old you are. 26, wow, someone has a preference. All right, you little child Melissa, you might want to calm your ass down because some of these people might not actually have been 18. But if you ever want to turn your life around, then just follow my advice. Stop being such a bitch boy for one. Secondly, you need to start making original content that'll actually make people laugh. I'm saying some real pranks, like having you walk in on me plowing your future wife. That would be a real prank. And finally, stop kissing your sister. 
because that's my job. Anyways, this has been your boy, Not Slick. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, Prank Invasion gets the idea, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. The outro is coming in 3, 2, 1. <laughs>